24-13, Minnesota. John Turner, interception, 30-yard return. An assist for Mullaney. And the Cowboys getting in deep water. Denmark kicks off. Newsom is deep along with Rod Hill. It'll be Newsom who bobbles the ball. He'll have to do something with it. And the Cowboys at their half-yard line. It's been a long time since any of you have seen a Cowboy team play this badly. In fairness to Minnesota, they're playing inspired football. Brilliant coaching job by Bud Grant. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a team better prepared for a given game. And that, that man has prepared his team for the night. That man is doing it without his two prime receivers. That's right. And without his best defensive player, Scott Studwell. That's right. So give them their fair share of the credit. I Terrific think. performance. But Dallas, you're right, Dandy. This team seems to think it can turn it on whenever it wants. You can't do that in this league anymore, and this is no way to go into the playoffs. Won't well, change anything except I, I, I feel you ought to go into the playoff with the best attitude, the most positive attitude you can, and they can't really feel too good about the way they played the last couple of weeks. The ball just over the goal line of the Cowboys. Dorsett, single setback. Big opening for Tony Dorsett. Look out, he's oh, got great no. speed. 99 yards and a half. Dorsett down the sideline. Stays in bounds. Can you believe that? And short. Short because oh, they 99 yards. Short yardage defense all bunched up. And that's, that's the 99 and a half yard run, I think, is the longest run in the history that of is. the league. It is. So now they're alive, put to the biggest test of all, and suddenly the whole momentum changes. But they were bunched up for the short yardage defense, and Gifford called it. Let's start bragging on them all of a sudden. Y'all want to? Who is that poor lady? She must have been a Minnesota fan. Off, off Mike, Frank said he'll bust it all the way. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. All right. Great. Herb Scott. Block. Herb Scott, the guard has been out for a few days. Good block, middle linebacker. And the move down here, Don, to stay in bounds was a great piece of athletic skill. I didn't think he would make it. That's is that Willie Teal there, I believe, isn't it? And all of a sudden, he just kept his balance and right in there. That's wild. Longest run previously, 97 yards. By That's the Andy look. Urum of the Green Bay Packers back in 1939. Bob Gage did it for Pittsburgh against the Bears in 1949. Tony Dorsett has just taken it the length of the field. He just went over 100 yards, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> 408, well within reach. Just right. at the end, puts it through. <laughs> uh, he's fun to watch. One of the great athletes ever to play this game. Tony Dorsett goes 99 yards. Credit to the offensive line. They opened a beautiful hole. Rafferty and Scott. Tony Dorsett, 3.7 yards per carry average. Just went up a little bit. Just a touch. Maybe they can turn it on whenever they want. You see him play like that. Love to watch him play. And then there was Tony Dorsett. Big opening for Tony Dorsett. Look out, he's oh, got great no. speed. 99 yards and a half. Dorsett down the sideline. Stays in bounds. Can you believe that? Tony's 99-yard run is the longest in NFL history. And he did it while the Cowboys had just 10 men on the field. Here's how Tony Dorsett remembers that memorable run. I got to play and I got a handoff. It was a 31, I think the play was called. Uh, right up the middle, right off, off the center's block. And I come through uh, between center and guard and I picked up a block and I had a defender there and I cut to my right to avoid him. And as I was running down the sideline, I see two defenders and Drew Pearson. And I'm seeing Drew's, Drew's legs starting to tire. Drew was ready to shield the one defender. I tried my best to get around the other, and I thought he would push me out of bounds. He didn't put enough push into his effort. I was able to stay in bounds and go in for the touchdown. And when I got to the sideline, Gil Brett said, uh, I think that's a, an NFL record. And then it dawned upon me, like, hey, I should have kept the ball. And that was the thing. The first thing that came to my mind was, I should have kept the ball. Of course, I never got that football. 
Power back, no score, 720 in the first quarter. We referred to that 99-yard touchdown run in 1983 by Tony Dorsett. But, you know, old play-by-play -play guys never seem to die. Uh, Let's take it back. A young and handsome Burt Lundquist. And this... Uh, line defense for the Vikings. A handoff Dorsett at the middle. Here he goes. Cuts to his right. Going all the way. Very reserved call, Vern. You, you, you know who that was, the other voice? I was working with Brad Sham, and my partner got sick that day. That was Charlie Waters, who was called. Is that right? Yes, yeah, so and Charlie, right down here about the 25, Charlie's cowboy allegiance overcame him. And he said, he's going to score. I thought, well, that'll go in the archives. He was right. He was 